Okay, good morning, everyone. Shalom, shalom. Good morning. Let's look at chapter 6 of Hebrews. That's 1 to 8 verses, first part, 9 to 12 is the second part, 13 to the end is the third. These three parts of the Bible respond to um, the topic of growing up because chapter 5 talks about our spirit needs to mature, otherwise we will stop at um, breastfeeding stage. So how do we get out of the breastfeeding stage? Our target, our, our progress in Hebrew, it's a very um, systematic. And after a... We all need to leave the breastfeeding stage and grow up. But what is growing up? In our spiritual life, we need to grow up just like our physical self. It's a must. We have to grow up. Have you ever seen a child not growing up? And always be a baby? They will grow up according to the, according to time, their mindset, everything will grow up. So life is asso deeply associated with growing up. So our spiritual life is the same. If we have a spiritual life, if we are lively, if we grow up, we will grow up. So let's look at chapter 6 and look at what means what means to be growing up. Growing up is a must. When we have life, we grow up. But we always have to remember there is a cost for growing up. If we can't pay the cost, we cannot grow up. So today we'll look and see what cost we need to pay, pay to grow up. So let's look at verse 1 to 8. Therefore, leaving the discussion of the elementary principle of Christ, and let us go on to perfection, not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith towards God, of the doctrine of baptism, of laying on the hands of resurrection of the dead and of eternal judgment. And this we will do if God permits, for it is impossible for those who were once enlightened and have tasted the heavenly gift and have become partakers of the Holy Spirit and have tasted the good word of God and the powers of the age to come if they fall away to renew them again to repentance since they crucify again for themselves the Son of God and put him to the, an open shame. For the earth which drinks in the rain that often comes upon it and bears herbs useful for those whom it is cultivated reserves blessing from God but it bears thorns and berries. So, it responds to the earlier chapter. So, we need to know the good from the bad. We need to eat food. We need the reason. So, we are eating well. If we are going from the, the way, if we want to progress to a next grade, if we want to do our best, we can't. We can't study a, a, an easier curriculum. If you if you don't leave the form one curriculum, you need you you can't go to form two. Should we always stick to primary one curriculum and always stick to primary one curriculum? We need to go beyond the elementary level. So so that we can go into a deeper understanding. And this deeper understanding, uh, the author said it's a complete, it's a perfection. It is perfect, it is complete, it is graduation. In our uh, spiritual experience, there is progression. We need to go and graduate and go beyond primary school and go to a deeper uh, level. This is a perfection. How do we get into perfection? They used a word, we try our best, try our best to enter. We need to pay a cost. To grow up, we need to pay a cost. 
So we, when we are growing, we are learning. When we are learning, we need to、um, break through. We need breakthroughs so that new things can come out of it, so that we can progress. So the progress is we need to try our best. We need to form the foundation, the beginning of the way. We shouldn't stop there. We need to progress. We need to progress. And there are some examples, and it's just like going forward. When we have this basis, we'll go beyond the beginning of the way. From there, how should I say? It is like yes, it's like playing TV game. Uh, we're passing one level to another. When we finish the first level, we go to the second level. So we need to go beyond the beginning of faith to perfection. So we don't need to. The, we need to establish a foundation because the foundation is already there, and we need to progress to further.、Uh, we believe that Jesus.、Um, So、um, we sh- should have repentance from dead works. Dead means no more life. Sin is death. So、um, we need to repent from the sin、uh, which com- brings death. So the repentance refer to、uh, the changing of our behavior. We need to get rid of these behavior that will lead to death. Is not just repentance, but repentance not just repenting, but but、uh, changing our behavior and to have to yield and have fruits of these behavior. We may be lazy earlier, but we、um, have repentance from dead. We're no longer lazy. We're no longer selfish. These sins need to be. We're not just getting the blood of Jesus. Oh,、uh, God has forgiven us. We need to repent. We need to revise our behavior. We shouldn't be greedy. We shouldn't be sinning. We shouldn't be gambling. We shouldn't be smoking. We shouldn't be lazy. Lazy is also. We should、um, repent and repent from dead works. We need to believe in God. Our belief and trust is accumulating. The more trust that we have for God, and when we are dealing with difficult times, we need to be more connected to God. If we don't have difficulties in life, why do we need to believe in God? That's the reason why we believe in God and. It's because we face difficulty. This is the way to progress. And the second、uh, verse, it's about the doctrine of baptism. They have baptism of circumcision. Apart from baptism, they have a lot of、uh, things to do, like washing hands. These baptism. What's the meaning behind the baptism? It is about cleansing our lives. When we are cleaning, when we're cleaning, it is、uh, an action that the importance of holiness. So in baptism, it means it's not just the activity. It's about leading a holy life. When they believe in God, they should understand. Jesus focuses on cleanliness, our spiritual cleanliness. It's about our,、um, it's about what's inside us, our greed,、um, lust, these things. We need to clean continuously.、Uh, the baptism leads to holiness, and so not just the beginning of the way, but we are. Deepening our understanding, we are in lust. Now we need to overcome lust. We are in greed. Now we need to overcome greed. Our life will live in holiness. And Jesus always 
told the Pharisees, you are just washing、um, the outside, and the inside is still filthy. God, Jesus is telling us to go through a holy life. Our lives, our our eyes need to be cleaned, cleansed, and only that being cleansed can we be used by God. So,、uh, laying of hands is about、uh, transmitting love, transmitting、uh, healing,、uh, lifting people up, building people, building people up, and we're laying hands to team members, cell members, so that they can grow spiritually. So, we need to.、Uh, Go beyond the beginning of the way, and become grown up. If we don't grow up, how can you hold lay hands on people? If you don't have belief and you don't have、uh, faith, how can you heal others? It means、um, having cell members healing others. If if you have not entered,、uh, have joined a cell, how can you lay hands on people? So when you grow up, you can only do this. You can perform miracles and raise people from the dead. This is a progression of faith. They encourage believers not to just stop at the beginning of、uh, the way, not leaving, not staying at the breastfeeding, breastfeeding、uh, stage. In spiritual life, there are、uh, there's a long way to go. There's great things coming. The world is great. It's not just、uh, a baby's crib. You need to go beyond the baby's crib and see how great the world is. You need to experience the all these powers and the and the happiness. And when you、um, Lead others and disciple others. You will find the satisfaction.、Uh, we are very contradicted. We like if we can do miracles. That's so. That's so good. But if you are only a baby, how can you、um, have miracles? Conduct miracles. If you can't. If you can't speak, how can you pray? If you don't know the Bible, how can you teach? You need to understand. You need to revise yourself and grow before you can have all these things. It says that if God permits, we will do. If God permits, if God permits us with、uh, this environment and this flexibility, we will do this surely. Unless God blocks us, otherwise we will go for that destination. This is what the spiritual growing means. Spiritually growing,、uh, go beyond the beginning of the way. Then there's only verse four, and towards the end, for it is impossible who were once enlightened and have test, tasted the heavens heavenly gift and have become partakers of the Holy Spirit. These are special people. Who are they? They are enlightened. They have been enlightened. Their eyes have been opened. This enlightenment means that they have seen that Jesus is the Savior. Light has entered and has pushed away all the darkness. Jesus is the light. So John said, and John Jesus said, "I am the light of the world." These are enlightened people. Their eyes have been opened. They know that Jesus is the Christ, and have. Tasted heavenly,、uh, the heavenly gift.、Uh, the gift means gift,、It's、heavenly gift. So heavenly gift. If you have tasted the heavenly gift, he knows he's working in. He's operating in this gift. He's received God's gift, and because Holy Spirit is connected, is connected to the Holy Spirit. Working with the Holy Spirit, they have tried. He's not 
just a new believer. They have received Christ. They receive the gift of the Holy Spirit and can can move with the Holy Spirit and walk in the Holy Spirit and has tasted God's gift and God's words are with him and. They have tasted the gift and the sweetness of God, and have tasted word of God, and renew them in repentance. And there is this life and next life in the Jewish belief. There is how do you decide this life and next life?、Uh, before Christ comes, before the Messiah comes, it's this life. After Messiah comes, it's the next life. If should be using ourselves as、um, the benchmark from Jewish perspective, we're not using us as the reference point. The reference point is Messiah. If the Messiah of the Christ has not come, it's our it's this life. If Christ has come. It's the next life. Those who experience the next life's power, and who has experienced and understand, and enlightened and experienced the next life, and operate、uh, in the powers of the next life. So he's exercising the powers of the Messiah and serving in the Messiah. If they leave the way, you can't say they have repented. These are not new believers. These are believers have. They have been fulfilled. They have. They almost reached perfection in believing the Lord. They are in the spirit. They have. They can speak in tongues. They can.、Uh, they can heal. They can disciple. They have the powers. And abundance of God's words, they can listen to God's words. As power, the gift of power has tasted the enlightenment and has realized the next life's powers. If they leave salvation and resist Jesus, then these people cannot repent from the start, because they mock. The the cross, it's almost like mocking the cross. When you believe initially, when you are your your connection with Christ is still weak, and you waver, that's understandable. But if you are so connected with God already, and you're a hundred percent experience God, when we Earlier belief when we're wavering,、uh, the initial belief and is Jesus really God? But you reach a stage when Holy Spirit is filling you. It's a hundred percent real. It's a nine hundred percent, one thousand percent real. It's within you, and you hear the Holy Spirit and with power, and you can operate. And you're telling me Jesus is fake, salvation is fake. What does that mean? All that you've done in the past, you you have destroyed all the things you you are、um, you are really shaming Jesus if you do that. If you are questioning all that you've done in the past, and your、uh, salvation is ineffective in those kind of people, we can't ask them to repent. These people are.、Um, Very pitiful, and it's almost like uh, forcing uh, the son to to crucify them again, knowing that he is the Messiah and not、um, accepting him.、Uh, for the earth, which drinks in the rain that often comes upon it and bears herbs useful for those who home cultivate it, the way to do it is to burn it. So. When we grow, we should avoid this situation. Hebrew is saying these Jews, when they believe in God, and they tell you, you have experienced the、um, the goodness of heaven. You have experienced. Don't go back. If you go back, then your consequence is being burned to the ground. 
if you have difficulty, don't leave Jesus Christ. We give up. So, verse 9, But beloved, we are confident of better things concerning you. Yes, things that accompany salvation, though we speak in this manner. For God is not unjust to forget your work and labor of love which you have shown toward his name, in that you have ministered to the saints and do minister. And we desire that each of you, each one of you, show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope until the end, that you do not become sluggish, but imitate those who thought through faith and patience inherit the promises. So the author um, has um, thought that he's being uh, said something that softened them a little bit. Uh, we are confident that you are better and you are almost saved. And uh, almost means connected. You, we know that you are connected to salvation. Why should we say almost saved? Because linked to salvation is a very basic thing. We know your basics are fine, your roots are very strong, but the problem is on the basis of these roots you need to develop, you need to grow up. And when you grow up, when you grow up, you have the ability to resist the pressure from outside and win over pain and suffering. If you don't grow up, it's very dangerous. You may not be able to resist and persevere. And you need to continue. Uh, you need to you don't go back in your service and ministry. Don't go back in your ministry. When we read here, so we are saying a lot of the great gifts. Why are we talking about these basic things? When the love, when you receive, it's very important. You are telling these sons of and servants of God, it's very important to connect. The Roman government has a lot, a huge pressure on them. If they leave um, Christianity and go back to Judaism, they are safe. If they continue in Christianity, uh, you have problem. They may uh, confiscate your your wealth uh, or even kill you. And when you uh, get detached from uh, the Christian brothers, then you are safe. You can go back to um, Judaism. But if you continue with your love and continue to connect with the church and these apostles. Uh, when they connect, it's about the church. You are the church. You are the disciple. We're not talking about... Today, we, we talk about receiving. Uh, it, 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 now, when we talk about this, it's about karaoke and dinner. But back then, it's about uh, the deep bonding, the deep bonding between the apostles. They are Jerusalem's church uh, who uh, protect. Uh, it's not that when I have dinner with you, you are my protection. You protect me and I follow you. It's not that. Protection is about relationship. Uh, the mother church is our protection. We have a relationship with the mother church. It's not just a structural uh, relations. It, our lives are organically linked to each other. I am part of the parent. When I say Pastor Joshua is our protection, it means that uh, Pastor Joshua can correct us no matter uh, how much I don't agree. Uh, if it, so long as biblical, he can correct me, he can revise me, he can help me. This is the relationship. So when we talk about this, you should continue with that love. Um, uh, don't, because the government has this pressure on you, you are cutting off your brethren. This relationship, when it breaks, you, and if that's the case, then we are surrendering. Then we are saying that we have failed. We are no longer church. We should we should change the banner. 
need to use uh, faith to resist. We need to persevere. We need to persevere. There is perseverance throughout and continue down the road. This is the real faith. If you link with uh, apostles, uh, if you do so, let's do it till the bitter end. In uh, in the pos in the gospel, Jesus is the real, is the true vine, and uh, we are the uh, other the, the vines. If we are if we are separated from the vines, then we are the the true vine. We don't have the nourishment from the true vine. This is Hebrews' um, way of describing this. So, otherwise, we feel that they they're jumping from here to there. Let's look at verse thirteen to twenty. For when God made a promise to Abraham, because he could swear by no one greater, he swore by himself, saying, "Greater, surely blessing I will bless you, and multiplying I will multiply you." And so, after he had patiently endured, he obtained the promise. For men indeed swear by the greater, and an oath of confirmation is for them an end of all disputes. Thus, God, determining to show more abundantly to his heirs of promise.、Um, The immutability of his two immutable things, in which it is impossible for God to lie, we might have strong consolation, who have fled or for refuge to lay hold of the hope set before us. This hope we have an anchor of the soul, both sure and steadfast, and which enters the presence behind the veil, where the far runner. Has entered for us. Even Jesus have become the high priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. So, if we understand, if we leave the、uh, beginning of the way, and we operate under the Holy Spirit, if there are a lot of gifts, if we repent from death, ways of death. There's nothing that that's important. We need perseverance. Perseverance in linking with apostles. In verse thirteen to twenty, we need to、uh, persevere and wait until eternity. So, verse thirteen to twenty is、uh, an example. It's like Abraham. Abraham persevered. God、uh, is has promised、um, Abraham that He will bless him and give him multiply him. When He said those things, Abraham. Had nothing. He had nothing from God at that time. God has already promised him to give him great blessings and multiply his descendants. When God, Abraham first listened to this, he could have said, "If my descendants is multiple, then you should at least give me one son. We don't have any one now. Even if there are a few sons." Uh, if you're saying that you're multiplying my、uh, descendants like the sand of the beach,、uh, there's still not many. Have you seen the 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 stars in the sky? Only a few, or a few drops of sand, a few、uh, grains of sand in the beach. When Isaac, he waited a hundred years until Isaac came. He was waiting for God for a hundred years. And even、uh, there was、uh, Sarah has、uh, had a menopause. He still waited, and he know that God will give him a son. This is Abraham, and of course, what's behind Abraham? It's because God has vowed、uh, by his、uh, swore by himself. Those who swear will swear by someone greater than him. God is the greatest, so he has to swear by himself. I will have your sons as and descendants as many as the、uh, stars in the sky and the sand in the beach.、Uh, even you have waited a hundred years and your wife has experienced menopause.、Uh, God's promise. Will never change. God has chosen Jesus as the high priest. This promise will never change. God has given salvation. This will never change. So we need to understand. When we understand these this thing, we need our 
believe with our faith to progress, we should not waver, and or give up. Not shouldn't be. We shouldn't give up because the the government is exi- exerting pressure on us. Otherwise, um, our the result would be being burned to the ground. And when God does this, He said. He, he, what, what he promised, he will never change. He's God; he will not lie. Whatever he said, whatever he said, whatever he promised will be, will be done. Uh, the world is created by his words. When he said that he will do it, it will be done. And when we say things, uh, sometimes we boast and uh, overstate what we. God has unlimited power, so what whatever He says, He will definitely do. Nothing is greater than Him. Sometimes we we overstate. Sometimes we lie because someone is greater than us. But if there is nothing greater than us, uh, there is no pressure on us. Whatever God says, it will be done. God will get will not lie and cannot lie, right? So when we lie, we just wanted some good things, some benefits. Why did he need? Does he need to lie when he is the owner of everything? So, when we understand this, we look at there's great um, promise. There, it's like a spiritual anchor, and uh, we'll be uh, go. We'll go into the. It's based on our belief in God. If God's promise will never change, whatever He said will always be there. His church will always be there. Uh, Christ is already um, ch- the, the church is His body. And God's spirit is on the right hand side of God. So, do you are you still afraid of Rome? You don't need to be afraid because you are connected to Him. It's just like an anchor of the spirit. You are you are anchored to God. So this is what it means by、um, connecting. This is the anchor. It is anchored with God. Is linked up with God. You need to understand when we be- enter perfection, it's like a string that's connected us to God. We are connected to God. We cannot be cut off from God. When you attack you, you're attacking God. When you attack church, you're attacking God. Those who attack God,、uh, n- nothing good will come. Or,、uh, Good up there.、Uh, God will never lose. We will always be victorious. And Jesus, having become high priest forever according to the order of Melchizedek,、uh, where we need to go,、uh, follow the pioneer. He's walked the first path. We now we need to、um, enter the presence. Has dealt with all the problems of sin. He's achieved. He is victorious. We wouldn't go back. We need to move forward. This is Hebrew Hebrew five. So our faith needs to follow our pioneer, so that we understand what we are receiving. So so long as we understand this, we don't need to worry about our difficulties in this life because we have the power of the next life. And God has spoken to us. We have the powers God of God given, and we are God. We are the the eternal、uh, army of God. So that we need to leave the beginning of the way and go to a more experienced and、uh, more developed stage in our spirit. Amen. To do our best, to do our best to go into perfection. Brothers and sisters, we need to grow up. Our, we, our faith needs to grow up. Our spiritual self needs to grow up. The, the more difficult the world is, we, the more important for us to grow up. Hold our spiritual powers. 
We pray for God. We pray for our home. We pray for people around us, and tell all the difficulties to to、um, go away. And the more difficulty the world is in, we need to be strong. The more difficult the world, we need to have more faith. We have to grow up and do our best to reach perfection. To reach perfection. So let's all pray for our spiritual lives. Jesus,、uh, help your Holy Spirit to be on us to open now. Uh, spiritual eyes and ears, so that we can see our Lord, so that we can our faith, our、uh, upbringing can reach perfection. We need to、uh, we need to hold on to your authority、um, and have a breakthrough. We want to say that Hong Kong belongs to you. Hong Kong's people need to repent. The, the greater the Disability, your way needs to spread.、Uh, when the world shakes, it's about salvation. When we、uh, see that, can see the spiritual. We see that people have、uh, fear in them, but you are the king of、uh, peace. Help us so that we have the、uh, wisdom and courage to spread the word. So that we have authority to pray, so all the all the disease come out, go away, so that everybody in the world can see your authority is in us. The world is dark, but the more it is so, the more we need to grow to glow in you, so that we we you you can anoint each of us and use each one of us, so that we can be. Blessings of others, we can be the lamb of the world. Pray in Jesus' name, we pray.